New tonight, confusion over child care center transportation. Parents in Newton are worried critical help could be cut. But the school district is clearing the air. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson explains what caused the misunderstanding in the first place and how it's being fixed. There is low income families out there that need you know, that have to have that transportation. Parents in Newton are worried transportation to and from child care providers will be cut by the school district. Why was there no discussion? Were there discussions outside of meetings? Several showed up to Monday's school board meeting to raise questions. Parents told KCCI they only found out about the apparent change a couple of weeks ago from their child care centers. I was very confused as to why, why the change all of a sudden, especially like two or three weeks before school was set to start. A document posted to the meeting's agenda related to the district's student school transportation eligibility policy says transportation would be provided to and from the YMCA child care center. The document did not list other centers in Newton, like Newton Early Learning Academy and Peck Child Development Center. That caused panic. The school board says they never meant to intentionally leave out any center. I completely understand this is a situation that is frustrating some of our families and that there's a short window of time to develop other plans at this point. Superintendent Tom Messenger set the record straight Monday night, telling parents the school district will continue to provide transportation to the child care centers who received it during the 2023-2024 school year for the start of the school year. Parents tell KCCI they wish the school district had been more clear and transparent, and the owner of one of the child care centers in town agrees. I would have liked to have heard directly from the school district um, instead of through a parent. Paloma Keith owns Newton Early Learning Academy. She says she hopes everyone can move forward from the misunderstanding. Mistakes happen. Um, and that's why we're here and you know it appears that it was corrected at least for now. The superintendent asked the school board to review the current school transportation policy. The earliest that could happen is August 26th. It takes two readings to change board policy. In Newton, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.